In this tutorial, we'll be looking at hiding and showing uh, bridges and filling holes, um, combining and separating. So we'll start off with a box, as we generally do. We'll just scale it up to something nice like 10, and we'll create a duplicate. Um, what we're doing is just creating a bridge in between these boxes. So I select a face, select another face. I actually found out that you can you don't need to actually delete the faces. Previous versions of Maya, this was a thing. Um, shows how long I've been using the program. Now you can just select two faces. But nonetheless, it's uh, good practice just to realize that there is a hole there. Anyway, we've combined two uh, boxes together. Now we'll hit the bridge tool and it figures it out. Um, you can uh, add a few divisions if you want, but we don't want to. We're just going to grab that face and extend it outwards. And it becomes a T-section. So, yeah, we've made a T pretty simply. Um, this is not smoothed, obviously, but... Um, we can smooth that out later on if we need to. I think for this exercise, we'll just keep it. Um, we'll just keep it flat. Make a duplicate, and in the outliner, we'll just rename them again. Um, one of the things I stress is that you keep the naming conventions there. So capital G A R T underscore um, your initials and underscore um, the, the object name, we'll just call this, I guess, T section and underscore 01. Um, and we'll just copy paste that uh, on the next one and we'll just change that to 02. Uh, just a couple of things about hiding and showing and whatnot. So if we grab this one, we um, hide it, control H, notice that it goes dark uh, gray there. We hold shift H, we can bring it back. Um, if we hit alt H, we hide everything except for the object selected. And then we can bring it back. And if we press control H again, I think what we're going to do, uh, we hide everything and then we hit the show all on the shelf there and we bring everything back um yeah it's just generally i find it very useful to hide everything that you're not working on just as a rule um it just makes your life a lot easier um and just gives you like a laser focus on what you're working on what i'm going to show you now is occasionally you'll select a face and accidentally delete it um, not to worry, uh, just select the edge loop and go to, I think it's mesh, it's here somewhere, uh, mesh fill, uh, fill hole, and that will fill it up for you, and everything will be merged with a vertice, so it's really handy, that one, just to get you out of a, get you out of a hole. Um, next we're going to... I guess we'll combine and maybe um, bridge. So if we just grab those two and go into our hotbox, go combine. And we'll just select uh, two parts of the T, oh sorry, two faces and just bridge them together. This is what I was saying before, is that uh, previously uh, you would delete the faces, then make a bridge. Now in 2017, you can just hit two faces and it deletes the, uh, deletes the faces and creates the bridge, which is very handy. Um, there you go. We've got some funky looking geometry here. Um, uh, I haven't smoothed anything. I, it's just because I wanted to make it crystal clear what the bridge tool was doing. Um, and what we're going to do here is just going to make another duplicate of these. Um, and we're going to combine them together. 
and then we're going to separate them. Um, this just goes to show that if you don't have anything um, merged together, any of those vertices merged together, you can actually separate things apart. Um, although the uh, center or the pivot off center, you might have to change that after the fact. But there you go. Uh, really simple. Just summing up, uh, hiding and showing things using you know, the Alt H, Shift H. Um, control H and the show all in the poly shelf um, and also just showing the bridge and the fill hole tool. Very useful. Um, I'm sure you can think of a myriad of ways to use them. Uh, plethora of options. So um, yeah, hopefully that was helpful.